What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got one story, no questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Hashtag question. We'll get it answered tomorrow's video. Without further ado, let's jump into our daily tech big news of the day. And it is another look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. We've seen looks and renders of this before, but this is a brand new one. And this might even be a little bit more detailed than what we've seen before. Now, does it mean it's changed all that much? No, but it's still a good look at this phone and what it's going to look like. So here we go. This is coming from uh, Super Rotor, who is a YouTuber. I'll link his video down below if you want to watch it. It is in another language, um, so you can probably have trouble following along, but you could watch him talk and watch the videos. But here's what it looks like so far. So here's the first look, which is just laying flat down. You can see the cameras popping out. You can see the ring around the cameras, which matches what you would see on something like a Galaxy S20. 3 Ultra, for instance, and how they did that with that. Remember, the cameras on this are 50 megapixel cameras, so nothing too exciting in terms of the camera department or what we're going to see in terms of megapixels. It's not matching last year's Ultra Phone or this year's Ultra Phone, not even close. You'll also notice that it is you know, lay down flat and, and just like this year's, it kind of looks flat as well. You know, no, no big changes really for the most part. Um, next, you'll see what it looks like standing up with an S Pen leaning against it. Um, new chair drop design, which you can't really tell too much. Um, but the next one after that is going to show you it completely closed up. And this is where you can see that it closes pretty flat. Um, it, with, because of that teardrop design, instead of having a little bit of an indent like the Fold 4 has, this will close completely flat because of that new hinge. And also, on the screen itself, we should see less indentation on that display so that it'll look a little bit clearer in terms of, you know, you seeing uh, anything go down the middle of it, which I guess is a good thing for a lot of people's eyes. And then the last one kind of just shows it in a different mode, you know, in a triangle shape uh, up and you can again see how skinny it is. You can see the cameras, you can see the colors and it doesn't look like a bad phone by any means. It is a nice looking phone, but it's not so different that if I probably just showed people these renders and I didn't say Galaxy Z Fold 5 or 4 and I just posted them, I don't think anyone would run up and say, whoa, that's a brand new Z Fold phone. I know that is, I can tell. You can't tell unless someone points out a couple things such as the rings around the camera and potentially pushing uh, showing that you know the I don't know if you can see that th this is completely flat now other than that just physically there's really not a lot of difference it's very difficult to tell in the grand scheme of things but um, what do you think about the Galaxy Z Fold 5 the way it looks um, what, what, what do you think? Do you think they're going to lower the price? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.